Hello, this is Hildron101010 from the CC, and I am here to do another Mac tips and tricks video for you today. This one is focused on the dock. Now, if you're a Mac user, I'm pretty sure you know what the dock is. It's a pretty handy tool for launching applications, loading up documents, and switching between applications. It's basically part of your window management, your app launching, and your document launching. Now, there are a couple of features uh, involved with the doc that aren't always too visible to people and unless you go through like tip websites or read the uh, documentation and the help pages about OS 10 you probably won't know about these features unless you come across them accidentally so the first one I'm going to show you is quick looking in the doc so let's say you've got a pictures folder so I'm going to open up this file this file folder and go to pictures so let's say I've got these pictures in here Let's say I want to see one bigger. I can just press my spacebar with my cursor hovered over it, and I get this popover. And I can go to another picture and press the spacebar and look at that too. And I can even use arrow keys to go in between pictures as well. And this works for all kinds of media, not just pictures. It works for videos, audio, documents, and others. Another useful tip in the doc is involving stacks. A stack is what you see right here. It's a way to display items inside a folder. And by default, you can have the items as a list, a fan, or a grid. When you use the grid view, you can actually resize the icons. By default, this is the size of the icons in your grid view. If you hold down the command key and press minus, it will make the icons smaller. If you hold down the command key and press plus, it will make the icons bigger. As you can see now I have a six view, so I can view six icons on one part of the page as I scroll and then I can see six more. And if you press command zero, it will go back to the normal size. Now I'm gonna put it back to how I use it. I believe it was uh, at, about, at about this size. So that's quick look and resizing your stacks. There are some other handy tips. In the dock, if you do a secondary click, you get another menu that gives you other options here, such as open at login and show in finder. However, there is another useful keyboard shortcut to perform the show in finder trick. If you hold on the command key and click an item, it brings you to that item inside the finder. As you can see here, here is the applications folder. I can do that again with applications as well. If I want to get to System Preferences inside the Finder, I hold down the Command key and click it, and it brings me to the System Preferences application in the Finder. This also works inside your stacks and lists. So let's say I have some automator scripts here, and I want to get to this item in the Finder. Now I can press Open in Finder and open this window up, but I can also just Command click on an item and it will bring me right to it inside the Finder. Another useful thing for use in the dock kind of relates to my option key tips and tricks video. You can use the option key to help you do certain things very efficiently with stacks in your dock. Let's say you have a stack right here. Typically when you click an item, it opens up that item and the stack closes. However, there is another way to open up multiple things without reopening the stack. If you open up the stack and you hold down the option key, you can click an item and it will open it up without closing the stack. I can click another item, and another item, and I can keep I can keep clicking these items, and the stack will never close. If I just hold down the option key, everything will work great. And I can even hold down the command option to open up an item in the finder without closing the stack. So I just opened up a file in preview, Safari, a bookmark in Safari, and, a, and this window with my quick links without even closing the stack, just by holding down the option and the option and command keys together. So that is another useful tip with the dock. Another useful tip with the dock goes back to using the option key once again. What you can do is if you have multiple applications open, you can obviously switch between them in the dock easily. However, there is a nice little trick you can do here. By holding down the option key and clicking another application, it will actually hide the one you were just in. So I'll do that again so you can see what I did here. I clicked on the finder and I switched to the finder after being in Safari. But let's say I hold down the option key and then click on the finder. I switch to the finder, but then Safari is hidden in the background. So that is another useful thing 
in the dock using the option key. The last thing I'd like to quickly go over is how you can customize your dock. There are terminal commands and manual ways for you to apply your own theme for the dock. You can do this by going to the dock item in your course services folder. You can secondary click on the dock item and go to show package contents and then click the resources folder. And when you're in there, you'll see images that will actually display the graphics for the dock. And what you can do with a program like SuperDocker, you can just Google search this. You can do a bunch of customized things like you can make the dock two-dimensional, kind of like this. You can change it to a, a customized suck minimize effect. You can lock the icons so you can't drag them around or remove them. And uh, you can make icons go transparent when you hide an application. And you can do a lot of other great things. And you can get these other themes for the dock that you can simply apply to it like this. And uh, you just download a theme that you like here and you hit apply and it will put it on your dock. And on our Computer Clan website you can download an installer that has a whole bunch of actually it's a package that has a whole bunch of dock themes that we made ourselves and you can apply these to your dock as well. You don't need to use Super Docker though because we actually make an installer that does it for you and you do not need to use this. But this is still another nice program to customize things with your dock. So I'm going to turn this back to how I like it because I like the 3D look better than the 2D look. So that's a couple of quick tips with the dock and another way you can customize your dock and make it more personal if you like on your Mac. So that's it for this tips and tricks video and I will see you in the next one.